Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. My name is Spange and I'm back in the middle of the church. Look at my little forge go. It's absolutely beasting. I love it. Uh, it is smelting away some clay and iron as it was at the end of the last episode. Uh, I'm starting to sort of build up some spike traps and stuff now. I'm going to need hundreds and hundreds of these. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to get a pickaxe first of all. Um, and then and then I think we're gonna go and do a little bit of harvesting. There's that mission just down the road that we need to clear an area of zombies for the trader again. That's gonna get us to level up. I did have a, a nice point um, to spend. I put that in minus 69er so I can um, craft the the pickaxe. I think the next one we're gonna go into uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus again so that we can, or maybe even pack me all so that we can carry some more because uh, my carry capacity is rubbish. Anyway, this is good. Uh, we need 15 wood, 30 forged iron, leather, and duct tape. Uh, the duct tape is fine. The leather is fine. The forged iron is fine. And um, craft. And there we go. In a little while, we'll have a iron pickaxe. It'll just be a lowly level 1 iron pickaxe. But this is going to help us chop up um, things like the rocks, the big rocks outside. So that we can get lots more stone and then we can start crafting like more cobblestone stuff actual stone blocks and things like that to start building our horde base with um i would like an iron shovel i'm not even sure if that is something i can build without a workbench oh oh it might actually be it's another 24 forged iron um and i'll need to go out and get some wood and make some more duct tape but I think that's something we can do as well. As for duct tape, I don't have much in the way of glue left. Glue requires bone and murky water. Well, I have a little bit of six murky water and we have 106 bones. Can we make a bunch of glue, please? It's not gonna be very good. We can get a higher yield, I think, if we use a chemical station. All right, so we're gonna be crafting some stuff uh, in order to, you know, get more stuff. That's the general aim of the game. 24 more forged iron there, please, sir. This is smelting away lovely. My corn seeds. I, I don't care about the cotton seeds, but I'm going to get some corn seeds so that we have some corn growing here. I'm uh, going to plant those. I've only got two, so two farm plots will do. And then we're going to go head down there and clear out that area from zombies. Hopefully that's going to get us another level. Uh, maybe if we're lucky we can get a claw hammer, but we'll have to see. I believe it. I can actually make the claw hammer that I need for the workbench. So I'm, I'm making it. I didn't think I could, but that minus 69 seems to have unlocked a bunch of iron tools. I have a spare wrench. I have the mechanical parts. I have the forged iron and the wood. Holy crap. We're going to get a workbench as well. No, nope, that's the way round. Oh, we got a workbench! <laughs> oh, now we're unstoppable. Hells yes! So, oh my god, right, okay, so we can we can make blunderbusses now, we can make a double barreled shotgun with uh, the right parts, um, holy crap, yes, <laughs> armor piercing automatic turret ammo, okay, <laughs> and all the stuff, obviously we haven't unlocked so much, there is an auto shotgun, hell yeah, that would be very useful, oh yeah, look at all this stuff, we can make Compound bows, crossbows, M60 machine guns. Oh my god, what next? A bazooka? I mean, there are rocket launchers. Yep, rocket launcher. <laughs> I was joking, but no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all this stuff. Hang on, what do we need in order to create um, that M60 machine gun? Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, automatic weapons handbook, volume 7. We've actually got two of these already. We just need more. We need all the books. We need books, people. We need books. Okay. The great news is, of course, we have a workbench now. This is wonderful. We actually have a workbench and a forge. This is this is next level. Okay, we are we are a crafting god now. Oh yeah. There is no stopping us. I've got five bacon and eggs. Do you know what? Of all the things I need more food wise is meat. What's that? It's over there. Oh, that was a long way away. That was a really long way away. Okay, well, okay, well, I can't really go and get that now. Let's, um... 
I need to clear up this place. I need to clear up this place. I might do it off camera. I'll just like dig up all the stone and stuff. And start taking down all of those crypts and whatnot. Um, let's go and clear out the zombies. Do I leave you running? You're at 699. It's going to take you a while, isn't it? Okay, I'll just leave you running, I think. Um, my little grow pot. One, I, I need more rotting flesh. So we're on the look for rotting flesh for grow farms, uh, farm plots, and all the other stuff that we obviously need. Like, you know, uh, an M60 machine gun would be nice. Just saying. <laughs> it would be amazing. Oh, I need more arrows. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, I haven't got any arrows. I've run out. The good thing about having a bucket ton of iron, though, is that I can now make iron arrowheads. I'm not sure if they're actually worth it, if you know what I mean. I'm sure they are. Right, we've got 232 stone, though. I just need as much feather as we can. Where are my feathers? Ah, 141. There we go. Arrowhead, iron. How many can we make? 246. Okay, well, that's awesome. I only need, like, 50. That'll do me. We're going, we're going up to iron arrows, people. We're in the Iron Age now. This <laughs> is awesome. I mean, my bow skills still suck, of course, but uh, they'll, they'll get better the more I practice. Okay, once these iron arrows are done, then we're going to go clear out these zombies. Turns out I did have actually arrows. I had my iron arrow. I had some iron arrows already, but all you need to do is hold R in order to select because it was set, set to stone arrow, which was out, so it was showing a zero like that. Hold R, and then you can select the arrows. I also just realized as well, you can get flaming arrows and exploding arrows. <laughs> Which sound great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some exploding arrows. Right, let's get over here. We're going to clear the area. Here we go. Oh, it's just this little log cabin, is it? Okay. I realize as well, I've spent a lot of the game just kind of rafting and stuff, which really should be done at night, I think. Okay. Clear area. Stay within. Oh, this would be fine. There's nothing here. It's just literally a one-room log cabin. Yeah. Got that guy. Got that guy. Sounds like a very fast moving zombie out there. The footsteps are very close together. I guess he's outside. Boys, down there. Always check the toilets. Oh, can we go down here? Oh hell, this place is uh, it's not just a one-room cabin. No sir, no sir, it is. There's a little bit more involved than that. Cowboy. This guy did not die with an arrow to the head in sneak. However, the second arrow got him. How far does this place go? I see a chest and some loot, and then that goes back up to the surface. Oh, we're done. So whatever's scattering around up there on the surface is not part of this clear POI thingamajig. Okay, cool. Uh, we've got some medical supplies then. Fantastic, another healing uh, bandage, much needed. Uh, level five scrap leg armor. Holy crap! What is this? A rad remover mod and the iron breaker mod oh this sounds great got this scrap stuff really high level scrap stuff but i don't want the scrap stuff i want like high level high level leather or padded stuff that's what i want um although they do have a big old armor rating do you know what is this scrap stuff useful during horde nights i wonder i don't know um i am recording this episode before the last one has gone up 
So, <laughs> if you've answered that question already, I apologise. Oh, hello, princess. <laughs> oh, Clubby. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Clubby, but you have, you have been superseded, my friend. You've been superseded. Um, let's repair you up to max repairiness, and then we add the old spikiness to you. Look, we can add the iron breaker. What is this? 50 more damage against iron. That'd be better on my pickaxe, right? And this thing is the. This will disable the regeneration ability of radiated zombies for 90 seconds. Radiated zombies? Okay, well, that might be useful. Can we equip that to a gun, I wonder? <laughs> That'd be quite useful, wouldn't it? Uh, and then I can see Clubby Mark II. Yes. Yes, level 5 club. Come on. This mod can go onto my pickaxe like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're kicking some booty. That was lovely. Now there's the rest of the house that I need to loot. Um, we didn't actually loot a lot of it. So we got this chemistry station here, which is destroyed but comes with some gunpowder. Lovely. Big stacks of wood. I think you get a crap load of wood for these very, very quickly. So definitely worth taking down. I don't know if my wrench can be used... Oh no, my wrench was swallowed by the workbench. I've got another one in the box, I just forgot to pick it up. Okay, I'll need to go back for that. Fortunately, it's not too far, but we do need to go all the way back to the trader. Um, To hand that in, is that like some crazy <laughs> suit jacket? Oh man. Yeah, scrap it. Okay, sink, jars, lead. Food? No. Food? No. Man, this kitchen sucks. Actually, what was that? That was a, another three cook pots right there. And yucca seed. Alright. Cool. Well, we can sell those cook pots to the, um, the trader, maybe. Ugly painting. Yes. Animal fat. Sweet. That's locked. See if we can find that, that like zombie that was scuttling around out here. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're such a tough boy, aren't you? Yeah. Right in the kidneys. Oh, hello, that one missed. Have new clubby. New clubby just killed you. Killed you bad. Okay, so this is where the, the hatch comes up into here somewhere. Must be under one of these hay bells or something, but there's actually a shamway crate here as well. Let's get this. Yeah, some sandwiches and stuff. Good, good. There's the hatch. Okay, we didn't miss much then. Something up here. Ow. I'm glad that didn't just drop down and destroy itself, actually. <laughs> Something landed on my head. Okay, there we go. Clear zombies done. Right, quickly whip back to base, I think. Consolidate this stuff. Ooh, ha ha ha. Need the rotten flesh out of this. Lovely. There was a rabbit around here somewhere. Search the sedan. So much looting I need to do. So much looting. Glue, very useful. Like that whole thing there, like, what? I don't think the buildings in this little town are as um, high level, maybe, as the ones up by the trader. I think the ones up by the trader are like serious POIs. These all seem like little, little startup POIs, do you know what I mean? Anyway, back to the base, drop this off, and then let's head to the trader one more time, and hopefully we'll have another time to do another POI while we're up there. Hello, Mr. Trader, dude. I'm back again. Yes, I do this a lot. Really, really should have set up base next to the trader. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Lessons learned and all that. Hi. Uh, oh, magnum ammo. Don't have a magnum or the gravedigger mod, which will speed up digging. Uh, definitely the gravedigger mod, I believe. Thank you very much. Any more jobs down to the south-ish area? 1.9 kilometers south fetch quest. Clear zombies. South as well. Okay. Uh, 
Well, we've done a bunch of clear zombies. Let's try another fetch, because the first fetch we did, we died. Uh, southeast. That's past our house. 1.9 kilometers. Let's do it. No, right, thank you very much. Good, sir. Ooh, have you got anything? I need to sell some stuff to you, actually. Inventory, please. Uh, yes, sell that. I've learned that. Sell all three of those. I don't need three more of them, so sell them. Sell them, sell them, sell them, sell them. Sell them. Okay. We got some money. I actually left all my money back at base. <laughs> so if you've got something good, like a wooden bow, a level 3 wooden bow, which is nice. Um, concrete mix, rebar, frames. Okay. Oh, hello, cheeky. 3840. Okay. Wow. A marksman rifle. This would be very, very good for me. Uh... It's a little out of my price range at the moment. I think even combined with the money I have back at base, I will not be able to afford that. I really should have... Damn it, I'm so annoyed with myself that I didn't bring that with me. But never mind. Okay, well, it's good to know that he's got it. That's the important thing. He has a marksman rifle. I can go and buy a marksman rifle off of him. And then that would be really, really good to have by day seven. <laughs> so, okay, that's good. A um, few bits and bobs on us. Let's modify our shovel. With that mod, thank you very much. I think we're going to be doing a lot of digging soon. Um, I never built a horde base before, but I have a general idea of digging a giant pit, filling it with spikes, and then putting a little island in the middle of it, uh, and, and then sitting on the island, basically, and just shooting everything that comes my way. I think I've looted you. Yes. Um, so which POI should we go for? It's 5.40. We've got plenty of time before the end of the day. This one's interesting because it's got like a towery thing above it. And some buzz buzz signs. What are they? The big neon signs, dude. Rip in memory of Mad Mole. Mad Mole. All right. We're going to get the uh, rotten flesh off this dude, though. That's going to be useful. Oh, such a lovely sound, isn't it? Um, I guess we go in down there, then, because there's a flashing light, which is kind of giving it away, isn't it? It's like, here's the entrance. C -c -c Come in this way. <laughs> okay. I shall, but not because you told me to. Oh, shrooms. I gotta sneak, let's sneak. Whoa, actual shrooms farm. My god. This is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Yes, yes. Give me them shrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's something under there. Leaf there. Ah, oh, you have to be metal, don't you? Okay, well, well, this is where our amazing pickaxe, with its extra damage to iron, comes in handy. Another flashlight. Cool. Okay. Well, a flashlight we could possibly go and sell. Or scrap. I don't know what you get for scrapping it. Presumably, irons. Hello. Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Alright. Shrooms. Collect the iron arrow out of the back of his head. Tins. Come on, man. Give me something better than that. A uh, wrench. That's good, because I left mine at the base, so that's going to come in handy. <laughs> uh, these are nothing. Okay. Chalkboard. I can't believe we found a shroom farm. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. We are going to survive this apocalypse very, very well. Ah ha ha ha, I see. Yes, I see ya. Oh, crap. Misfire. Sorry. Please ignore that arrow. It never happened. It just, uh... It, it ejected a bit early. <laughs> Floating arrow. No other zombies in here. No thingies on the shelf. Good, 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 good. That's, um, that's a decent haul of shrooms. 18. All in. That's pretty good. I like... Right. What have we got in here, then? Stairs up. Ugly f paintings. Uh, uh, and some roof space. Chemical station. Destroyed, still. Cotton. Yay. Gunpowder, though. Gunpowder's good. There's got to be something here. Yeah, look at this. Is that a purse? It is a purse. 
And some food. Some food. I'll take it. I'll take it. Anything else here that I've missed? What does that give? That gives like cement. Okay. I guess we need that to make concrete blocks. Which will be useful uh, at some point. I'm not sure I'm ready for it yet. I'm going to ditch it for now. But yeah, I think later we're going to be trying to get a lot of cement. And I'm just not sure what I'd be doing with it right now. Ugly painting! Food. Nice. Chicken soup, chicken soup. Pick up old chair. I don't want the old chair. We're going to continue sneaking. Into the rest of the house now. Door was locked. Move on. Check the next one. Bye bye, businessman. Yes. Moldy bread. I think moldy bread is used uh, later on to make antibiotics or something, isn't it? Oh, hello. Schematic to make healing first aid bandages. Yes. Very nice. I think we were about to put skills into um, physician to unlock that otherwise. What are they? Are they like BDU bottoms? Oh, hey. Where are those? Yes. Uh, modify. I've got my pocket mod that I made. Scrap that. And then modify these badges. Oh, I'm so stylish right now. Purple and red. Woohoo! So good. So good. We have got some dye. I could put the pink dye in there instead of the red dye. And then uh, at least I'm matching. <laughs> I'm well coordinated. <laughs> oh, man. He says he can't be stylish in the apocalypse, eh? Don't know about stylish. Um, some pipes and stuff there. That's pretty good. Get rid of that. Don't need that. I can get that anywhere. Is this coal? Uh, coal's going to come in useful later. Food situation. Yeah. I'd like to save these tins until much later, but I suppose the tin of dog food and stuff, I don't think goes in learning Alexa. Yeah, that's it. Well, I'll eat the dog food. God, I'm filthy. Right. Moving on. I think I've looted everything in here. Yes. Next room. Sleeping Sheila. Sheila dead. You got all rude awakened, didn't you? Some strange man coming into the house. And shooting wardrobes. Oh. I shot the wrong door. I hate this one. He flails around all over the place. Give me my, give me my arrows back. It's such a weird house, this. It's kind of like set up like a shop. But it's not a shop. But it's a shop. Oh yeah, it's a mushroom farm. <laughs> Forgot. That's the shop front. Right there. This is like just the business meeting area. Let's talk about shrooms. We are running out of time. Well, these guys woke up. No sneaking around them. Blood bags. Oh, did you fall down, love? That was silly. Oops. That was silly as well. Get down and stay down. Good. Right. What are they? They look like iron iron traps or something. Can we salvage these? Oh yeah, reasonably easily as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I spoke too soon. They have three levels of destruction. Okay, well at least I'm getting a nice little amount of iron and XP for this. You get access to the rest of the room. 
out of stamina. Of course! Is there actually anything worth in the rest of this room? I can access the desk from here. It just gives me some clothing. That's rubbish. And that's rubbish. What else we got? Oh! I nearly fell down. I'm fine. Uh, machine gunner, which I already had. Crikey, this place is unstable. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Uh, so that toilet didn't go anywhere, but this does... Hello, mate. Oh, you're a big fella. You must be the boss, I guess. Still not dead, huh? Now you are. Okay, lantern. This backs up into... Ugly painting! And that door there. Get that. Nothing. Brilliant. Alright, Cindy. Sit down. Ah! Nurse Olga. You're looking a bit green there, Nurse. Might I recommend um, some vitamin supplements? Alright, alright. And this goes up into the roof, I see. There's actually nothing lootable in here. Robbed. Absolutely robbed. Okay. Into the lost space we go then. Eight o'clock now. Oh, hang on. I haven't disturbed these guys. Let's snipe them. One head. Two heads. Two heads are better than one. Anything good up here? Oh, hello. There's another one. Damn it. Good old Clubby. Clubby's great. <laughs> He's so useful in, a, in an emergency. Alright, I think that's everything here. And that arrow I will take. Oh, yes. Motherload. Alright, can we get these meds? We need to be sort of quickish. I've got to get all the way back to my base. Holy moly. Alright. Uh, oh, no, I need that. Well, I don't need it. I just want to replace my current blunderbuss with that one. Scrap that. Um, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of it, most of it, I think, it's going to be scrapped. What are this? Military armor? I don't even know. Bullets. Get rid of the paper and the die. We'll take those two instead. Uh, shotgun Messiah. Oh, please be a shotgun. Please, please, please be a shotgun. Cut, shotgun, damn it. Scrap, leg armor, scrap it. Bullets, okay. A motor tool, small tank mod. Uh, all right, scrap these. This is this is the main challenge with this game, really, is inventory management. I'm gonna scrap this, scrap this iron spear. I don't think I'd ever use it. And it's only level one. Okay, it's gone. Another shotgun messiah crate, plus a gun bag. Shotgun? No, scrap boots. Scrap those. I'll take the bullets. I've got nowhere to put the bullets. Okay. Eat the chili. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Scrap the can. Take the bullets. Okay. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're figuring it out. All this inventory management nonsense. Uh, scrap that. More bullets. Always take the bullets. You've got dying paper in it. Those three are done. So it's just... The bag up there. So clever. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, yeah, we are very rapidly running out of time now. Let's get the hell out of here. And let's get the back held back to home. Whew. Yo. We're a better way out than going down into the dungeon, right? Probably not. I'm so happy with that mushroom shrub farm though. That was awesome. Two swings to the face. A third just for luck. And off goes his head. Alright. 
we've got one in-game hour to make it all the way back down to there. <laughs> this will be fine. This will be fine. There will be no problem whatsoever. Well, I I pretty much made it. I pretty much made it. We just got the the, the dong for the the gong, <laughs> not the dong, the gong. <laughs> for night, it's night time now. It's night time, but I'm not so afraid of night time because I've got one of these. And these are good for taking out single zombies with one or two shots. So that's pretty good. Okay, we're we're home anyway. That's the important thing. Uh, even encumbered by 11, we made it anyway. My trees have all grown up again. Look at them clipping through these crypts. Ah, that's lovely. Is my corn ready yet as well? It's looking pretty good. It hasn't got any corn on it yet. It's still growing. Shall have some corn soon. And all will be well. It's actually not bad in here. With the, with the candles that I put up, we're doing pretty well. Okay. All the stuff. All the stuff that I have. Uh, okay, I don't really know what I'm doing right now, to be honest. <laughs> it's just like, ah, I'm home, I'll just sort this out. Um, and then figure out what the hell it is I'm supposed to be doing now. Well, I know we need to start really preparing a horde base. It is day five. We only have two days left. And, uh, and then we're in serious trouble. <laughs> in serious, serious trouble. I need to... Yeah, I wish I sold that, but I mean, it was too late. It was too late. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm so close to leveling up. I might just do some like stuff around the base to see if I can get that extra little bit of XP and get another skill point. Um, tomorrow, I suspect. Well, tomorrow, that's a long way away. I'm going to leave that for a while, I think. I don't know how long we've got until they sort of... Um, how do we see what missions we've got? Is that... Oh, these things. Fetch. Expiry date? Does it have an expiry date? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so we can maybe uh, leave that. Oh, I've still got the stag party mission as well. I need to kill five deer. Uh, yeah, I, I think, to be honest, messing around with quests at this point is possibly playing it a little bit too uh, <laughs> too cheeky. I think we need to start concentrating on maybe setting up some kind of like defenses for a whole base. I'm not going to defend this base. I'm going to set up over here or, or even over here so it's a little further away from there. Um, something, something to defend and, and have defended. So let's start making some spikes. I need to chop down a crap ton of trees and all sorts. And I don't know if actually I'm going to record a lot of the grinding and stuff. So it may be that the next episode will be day six or yeah, um, rather than day five. Anyway, I think uh, we need to, in the morning, go for another quick loot around here. There's some good POIs. We still need to finish this supermarket off. This thing, whatever it is over here, and this thing over here, these look like some some decent POIs that might have some good stuff that we can use. Um, oh, how much money did I have in the chest here? Two nine. Oh, I've got 4,000. Okay, new plan. We're going back to the trader. <laughs> I don't just come all the way down here just to turn around again and go all the way back again. But no, 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 that's worth it. That is worth it. Every day, that is worth it. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're going to go back to the trader and then sell sell useless stuff like these. one of these flashlights. Uh, these bullets that I don't need. I don't need these 9mm ammo. I don't have a 9mm gun. We're going to be going straight to a marksman rifle, which uses 7.62 rounds. I assume it does, anyway. I don't actually know. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the trader in the morning, get ourselves a marksman rifle, and then go on a little final loot run, and then start making ready a base. Plan. Plan established. Okay, I went from no plan to having a plan. This is good. Oh, Clubby's got himself an upgrade. 
the burning the burning shaft mod <laughs> oh yes i can actually put the rad removal on here as well because it's level five it's got five modification slots it's crazy uh sorry three modification slots yeah i could put the rad remover on there as well but i want to see if i can put that on the gun because i remember the marksman rifle the trader's got two slots doesn't it so if i can put the weapon flashlight mod on and the rad remover yeah well i I assume this is useful. <laughs> I assume this is a useful thing. Uh, but yeah, if I can't put it on the gun, then I'll put it on, on uh, Clubby here because uh, he's doing very well. He's now on fire, which is fantastic. And I can't wait to smack some zombies about with this. It's going to be great. Now I'm being an absolute mad lad and mining lead in the middle of the night. <laughs> Why not, right? Nothing can mess with me now. Look at it. Everybody's like, oh, the night's are scary and stuff. Well, it's just dark. It's just dark. Not necessarily scary. It's fine. I'm getting a lot of lead and a lot of XP. I've actually got myself another skill point. This is pretty good. Um, what should we go for? Should we get some pummel peat? You know, get some extra club damage. Machine gunner. So that we can use our marksman rifle a little. I assume there's the machine gunner that uses the marksman rifle. A rifle, <laughs> the rifle. <life> They're <laughs> living off the land, specializing in crops and stuff. We can get that at some point. Pain tolerance, specializing in struggling off blows, fighting through pain, and staying in the fight when others will be down for the count. That could be useful. I mean, all this stuff is useful, isn't it? It's just a case of which ones do you do you go for. Agility would be great. Archery, gunslinger, pistols, uh, run and gun, firing from the hip, flurry of blows, one-handed melees and beating the tar at your opponents in a furious flurry of quick strikes which could be great light armor definitely want to get into light armor parkour as well because you know parkour advanced engineering all of it <laughs> i think to be honest uh the more important at this point are things like your basic skills maybe lucky Luta would be good um i've got sort of one in these ones at the moment pommel pete would be good i think lucky Luta. let's do it let's up our luck Lucky Looter. Still no zombies about. I'm just going to carry on mining. Don't mind me. Got a little bit of time before the trader opens. Let's hit up this gears place. This looks like it's um, got a burning barrel on that side of the front. So that's always a good sign. It's got some antennary things on the roof, which is also a sign. Hello, fella. Jeff, is that you again? But it gets everywhere. Oh, hello. Books. Shotgun Messiah Volume 6. And the Enforcer. Hollow Point Ammunition. The most powerful handgun in the world. Just got more powerful. Nice. You can craft Magnum Ammunition. If only I had the most powerful handgun in the world. Then I'd be great. It'd be grand. All dandy. Trash can. Pipes. Always good. Destroyed workbench. Oh! A bicycle chassis. Well, that's just fantastic. Oh, pass and go. Pass and go up there. See if we can jump. Ah! The hell. I need better parkour skills. Clearly. Let's just hit it from here. We can get it from here. It's fine. The melee range in this game is crazy. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> level four. Well, there we go. We got a, a level four. Uh, stone axe now we can scrap our old one that was nice that's lovely all right can we jump on the roof the roof the roof yes we can anything up here i don't think so Hajar. oh oh i don't like you oh you ah oh that's horrible i got you though you little bugger oh rotten flesh yes useful Lovely. Delicious. That was scary. Freaky damn bird. Zombie birds. We thought there'd be zombie birds in this as well. Anything under this? That's actually wood. It looks like metal. Turns out to be wood. Alright, nothing under there. Fine. Nice little flashlight saying down here. see anybody down there. Doesn't mean there isn't someone down there, though. 
Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. We're in. Nothing in that trash pile. Beer cooler. Yes, please. Oh, some coffee and some water. Wonderful. I'm actually going to drink that right now. Get that water level back up. Beautiful stuff. Anything in the trash? No. Some food on the side. Lovely cat food. Delicious. I assume I can take these engines apart with, uh, with my wrench. I, re I reckon I can wrench them. Wrench them apart. I'll do that later. Let's continue looting for now. Anything of interest in here? More food. Food is always good. Absolutely always good. That chili dog recipe that the trader had. I wonder if I could use the, the tins of chili uh, with some meat. I'd have to check the recipe. I don't honestly know. Lots of tins and stuff. Not much in the way of food, actually. It's a bit rubbish. Was that blueberries? Coffee? No. It was blueberries. Lovely. I wonder if I can make seeds out of that. Probably not. I need the recipe. Uh, more stuff that we can sell to the trader. More stuff that we can scrap. And, um, wow, our inventory is almost full already. This is crazy. Crazy sauce. Um, scrap you. Okay, cool. Not a bad little pie, POI so far. And that's not including all the stuff we can take apart in here as well. Is that a working workbench? Well, there we go. Holy crap. Can I take that apart and get all the nice, nice, expensive parts for it? Oh, hello, mate. You did. That was creepy. That was so creepy. <laughs> Sink. Acid. What can we, what can we get rid of? Paper. Nobody wants paper. Paper is useless. Seriously, what is paper used for? Trader Joel's now open. Lovely. Well, that was a productive use of our time, I feel, because we are now reaching the end of this. I don't know if there's anything in there. Oh, there's a chemical station in here, though. It's destroyed. Cornmeal. What can we get rid of? Um, my 25 wood? Probably. Bones. Eat the blueberry. <laughs> Oh, I woke someone up. Oh! Oh! They came through that very quickly. Oh, you weren't ready for Clubby. You weren't ready for Fire Clubby. Oh, no. Oh, safe. Locked. Still don't have any, like, any way of picking those things yet. Yeah, they came through there very much faster than I thought they would. Uh, another wrench. Uh, I'll leave it for now. Um, gun? No. Murky water. Ammunition. And shamways and a working stiff. What is that? A passing going working stiff, sorry. Ooh. Wire tool. Well, okay then. I'm super low on any kind of space whatsoever, but I'll take it. Thank you very much. Passing gas. A claw hammer. Actually very useful. Um, although we don't need one right now. I'll leave it. I'll leave it and come back for it. Let's get out of here. I think we're done. Ow. God damn it. I wasn't ready for you. But Clubby was. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another safe. Oh man, there are two safes in here. Ugly painting. And some bullets I can't carry. Okay, let's go. Trade up. Hello, Mr. Traded Person. Uh, may I see your inventory? Rory. Okay, I have some stuff to sell to you. First of all, I want to sell that one because I don't know what that is. These books that I have read, I do not need anymore. You can have them. But what I really came here for, what this whole trip was really about, was this little beast right here. Oh yeah, I thought it was a level 3, but it's only a level 2. Uh, well, that's fine. It's still a freaking marksman rifle. Buying it... 
Oh yeah. Oh yes. Indeed. Indeed it's indeed. Real pleasure. It really Get has been. Out there. You, know you too, good sir. Thank you so much. It's so absolutely kind. Why? Right, okay, so we can't have we can have one or the other. Uh we can only have one mod. Fine. Alright. Um we shall put the rad thingy majiggy on on clubby then. It's all good. This makes no difference to me. The point is that we have a marksman rifle. Ha ha ha! Shall we reload this badger? Oh yeah! With a tactical tactical flashlight and everything. Now obviously, you know, getting a level 5 one of these would be great. And sticking a nice little ACOG scope on it or a holographic and a silencer. But you know, beggars can't be choosers right now. This is fantastic. I've got an actual rifle, a gun, to call my own. I mean, I had the marksman rifle, the the the, the one bolt action thing with the jig, and this thing with a 12, 12 shot scope and a sight on it eventually would be incredible as well. Bear in mind, it's only level one, and it only has one modified slot. But still, I, I'm very happy. I'm a very happy boy right now. <laughs> um, I think we need to go and. Um, well, I was going to say, let's go and loot a POI, um, but I, I've already got so much stuff on me um, that I think we just need to head down here and, and loot those ones that I was talking about earlier. Uh, I just need to quickly better run back in here, pick up the stuff that I couldn't pick up, and then we're going to head back down south. Okay, we're going to finish off today's episode with one last POI here. Uh, I've just dropped everything back off the base, so... Nice and empty inventory, and we've got, of course, our new toy. Oops! I made a noise. Is this some kind of, like, printing room? This is cool. Hi, Jeff. I'm shining a light in your face. What have you got to say of it? Ha-ha! God damn it! There's two of them! Hoo-hoo! ho oh. Damn! ha <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that's good. That is good. I like that. That was that was enjoyable for me. <laughs> Not so much enjoyable for the zombies, I suspect. What the hell is this stuff? Is it? What do I get? Oh, it is paper. It's just pure paper. It's a freaking paper mill. Oh, great! What a crap POI. <laughs> great if you need a lot of paper. I don't know even what. No, I don't need paper. All right, well, fine. Um, locked. All locked. Locked up. Ugly painting. Um. Did I pick the world's worst POI? Yeah, I think I did, didn't I? I'm going to have to chop through these doors, unless there is another way in there. There might be. Oh! Well, getting down there is going to be fun. Hi! Zombies? I see one. He's under the table. He might be dead, though. He is now. It looks like we can go out that way. The lamp is the... Uh, is the Sit down, Steve. I warned you. Search the toilets. A hunting knife. <laughs> get, a, get a view of these now. I've already got one. Uh, scrap it. Okay. Chrysanthemums. Is that a cooking pot? It is. And a backpack. I'll take. I can't actually take that cooking pot, which is a shame lead in the cupboard under the sink ah uh, there we go cooking pot <laughs> it was gonna happen wasn't it it's on top of the fridge that's gonna happen right scrap you um, I'll hold on to you and sell you I think what else we got clothing and shotgun shells in there and more useless nonsense alright fine let's go out of this window then see what we got oh that's gonna take a few hits Let's switch to the more appropriate tool for the job. Lovely. Oh. This must be a way in rather than a, a way through. Oh, okay. Um, groovy. So we go up. I suspect we're just going to have to break our way into um, the rooms downstairs that are locked then. Ah! Ah, it's one of those flying things again. Oh, there's a few of them. Uh, ah, right, you need to be dealt with. You need to be 
sit down, shut up. You need to be dealt with. And you, again. Alright, Mr. Clubby's getting tired now. You all just settle down. Wow, that was a few more than I expected. Let's get the rotten flesh. This birdie bird. Thank you, birdie bird. Key. Oh, key. There's definitely going to be something up in that water tower, isn't there? Ammunition. You better not give me a marksman rifle. If you give me a marksman rifle, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> More of this scrap chest armor. I, I have a little bit of a collection of chest armor going on now, in fairness. I might use it for Horde Knight. Just armor the hell up. Sandwiches. Shotgun Messiah. Are we going to get a shotgun? No. Just some ammo. Okay. Can we jump up here? Up here? And up here? There's a grand total of nothing here. Ah, it's just disappointing. I thought there'd be something. But there is nothing. Okay. Let's go back down quickly. Break through those doors. That we couldn't break through earlier. Sorry, I just saw something weird. Ah ha ha. I was right. I was right. I did see something weird, but it's another empty purse. Oh, and I'm getting annoyed at those. Oh, crap. I'm fine. I bossed it. Oh, eats through doors real quick, doesn't it? Huh? Hello, mate. Torchy has something to say. Oh, Clubby. Clubby has something to say. Listen to what Clubby says. Oh, more torches. Vending machine. I've got no money on me. Damn it, I only start taking some money on me because things like the eye candy give me a loot bonus, which is lovely. Hackers give me a salvage harvest bonus. So, yeah, there's some good stuff in those vending machines. Yeah, a bit of a little disappointing, that one. Paper mill. But I could get my wrench out. Where the hell is it? There it is. And start wrenching this stuff apart because all of this will give me iron and mechanical components and stuff, which is all useful. But anyway, I'll do that off camera. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.